Bereshit, Genesis 29. Then Yaakov went on his journey and came into the land of the people of the east. And he looked, and behold, a well in the field. And lo, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks, and a great stone was upon the well's mouth. And thither there were all the flocks gathered, and they rolled at the stone from the well's mouth, and watered at the sheep, and put at the stone again upon the well's mouth in his place. And Yaakov said unto them, My brethren, whence be ye? And they said, Of Haran are we? And he said unto them, Know ye at Lavan the son of Nacor? And they said, We know him. And he said unto them, Is he well? And they said, He is well. And behold, Rachel his daughter comes with the sheep. And he said, Lo, it is yet high day, neither is it time that the cattle should be gathered together. Water ye the sheep, and go and feed them. And they said, We cannot until all the flocks be gathered together, until they roll at the stone from the well's mouth. Then we water the sheep. And while he yet spoke with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. And it came to pass, when Yaakov saw at Rachel, the daughter of Levan, his mother's brother, and at the sheep of Levan, his mother's brother, that Yaakov went near and rolled at the stone from the well's mouth and watered at the flock of Levan, his mother's brother. And Yaakov kissed Rachel and lifted up at his voice and wept. And Yaakov told Rachel that he was her father's brother and that he was Rivka's son. And she ran and told her father, and it came to pass when Lavan heard the tidings of Yaakov, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. And he told Lavan at all these things. And Lavan said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him the space of a month. And Levan said unto Yaakov, Because you are my brother, should you therefore serve me for naught? Tell me, what shall your wages be? And Levan had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. And Yaakov loved at Rachel and said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And Levan said, It is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to another man. Abide with me. And Yaakov served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him unto him but a few days for the love he had to her. And Yaakov said unto Lavan, Give me at my woman, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. And Lavan gathered together at all the men of the place, and made a feast. And it came to pass in the evening that he took at Leah, his daughter, and brought her to him, and he went in unto her. And Levan gave unto his daughter Leah at Zilpah, his maid, 
for a handmaid. And it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Levan, What is this you have done unto me? Did not I serve with you for Rachel? Wherefore then have you beguiled me? And Levan said, It must not be so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week, and we will give you at this also for the service which you shall serve with me yet seven other years. And Yaakov did so and fulfilled her week, and he gave him at Rachel his daughter to be his woman also. And Levan gave to Rachel his daughter at Bilhah, his handmaid to be her maid. And he went in also unto El Rachel, and he loved also at Rachel more than Leah, and served with him yet seven other years. And when Yahuwah saw that Leah was hated, he opened at her womb, but Rachel was barren. And Leah conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Re Uven, for she said, Surely Yahuwah has looked upon my affliction, now therefore my man will love me. And she conceived again and bore a son, and said, Because Yahuwah has heard that I was hated, he has therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Shimon. And she conceived again and bore a son and said, Now this time will my man be joined unto me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. Rather, Levi. And she conceived again and bore a son. And she said, Now will I praise at Yahuwah. Therefore, she called his name Yahuda and left bearing. <laughs>